turbot. Two turbot. Oh, this is nice. Got a nice breeze blowing straight through me zip. <laughs> and welcome to this Slippy Limits video. I'm doing my intro just as two massive boats are going to come flying past but uh, <laughs> we're out in the yak. What a glorious day. Can it get much better than this? It's absolute milk pond. <laughs> milk pond. <laughs> absolute milk pond. I'm out with Steve. <laughs> and uh, he's just lost a handle off his reel. Something's having a go. Must be absolutely tiny. Boys, look dead close that thing. Uh, it doesn't get any closer, like. The ground looks good here as well, mate. Right, let's give it a drop, eh? Took it on a retrieve. I think it could be a wee pollock. Oh no, cod. Bloody hell, is the water is so clear. First fish, oh I got it, absolutely annihilated the fish. <laughs> there we go. First one, yay! Fifteen meters deep. So I'm using eighteen gram fish black minnow with a search head, which is designed really to cast off the shore. But uh, the idea is I want to cast this rather than jigging with it. So it kind of works well, as we've just seen with the uh, with the fish. Have another drift. Oh, the ground looks really craggy. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try Frankenstein. See if there's anything. Hang on. He's straight down with him, like. Alright. I'm not even a caster now. How would you retrieve him then? Just... Just slow wind and then... I like using the fixed spools because you can let the line out slowly so it goes down, but just thumb it down. Oh, this... But too long for a kayak. Push us off, I guess. Kick us off. Oh, you're right. I can see your lure. Oh, you are away. You can see your lure. Aye. Yeah. On the screen there. I haven't got it. No. You want to go, you're at halfway now, you're at 10 metres. Something down there. Yeah. Something down there. Yeah. yeah, we're going up and over some uh, good ground as well. Two meter boulder. That's when you go up a camera and that and no fly, you literally up and down when you're oh. 
your left. Gonna come back for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've been looking for. Come from 18 to 8. Oh, look at all that weed as well. That's, oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's exciting. Let's take this metal off. Stick this weedless fish minnow on. Hopefully, I haven't drifted over it. Following the contour down, and now we're at 11 meters. Right, I'm going to reset that. Now we've figured out the direction we drift. Let's stick this beast on. Try something smaller. Oh, what a night! <laughs> Who cares when it's slow fishing when it's like this? Oh, it's absolutely glorious. Ah. Head out! Coolies. On a 300 gram zen. <laughs> well, they'll take. <laughs> they'll take anything that's silver, like. Yeah, like. No, nah, I had some little hits, but no. I had a patch of coolies. I was, I was smashing that. Uh, for... <laughs> it's in the size of the zen. <laughs> Did you say you had it? Um, oh. oh, I could look the other. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was literally just putting that lower down to uh, just to get ready with it, really. And a cod, greedy codlin took it. Second fish of the evening. Afternoon, and they like these uh, golden coloured, can't remember what it's called, little fella. I didn't charge it. it normally, does this like two full days, so I only had a four hour trip last time. I normally survive about one anyway, so. <laughs> I know, but I can it. It's gonna feel the bottom, and if it starts getting just nothing, like, I get bored. I need to see me lure and the fish come in for them. Eh? Alright. And then you can change your retrieve if they don't entice at the beginning, if they don't bite straight away. Well, just paddled about a mile back to where we came from. Against the strong current. And uh, on the way back, my sonar was getting a bit dimmer and dimmer, and then the downscan disappeared, and then, uh, yeah, batteries ran out. So um, what we've done, because the tide's so strong, paddle back up the beach like I say, you know, we're going to do a long drift and then uh, keep repeating. Well, I just started the drift, got in a fish straight away, Steve just had a coley. Where you go son. So all the fish so far have been in, for me anyway, in shallower water or at least just a bit closer in. Oh, straight away. <laughs> oh, this one's taking a little bit of line. It's 
den Dieb. Das Tor in der Boot. Oh, that's better. There's the next one and the very next drop. Oh, come here, son. Take. Oh. Let's get another. <laughs> Finally, after like two hours or so. Whoa. Whoa, something just had a good go at that on a retriever. Quite high up in the water column as well. Can't see anything on the sonar, but... Whoop. Does he eat me, Sony? Oh. And um, snagged a wee pollock. There you go, son. <laughs> a wee pollock was about the same size as that lure. I'm just leaving this lure here, not doing anything, and something's having a go. Oh, go on, son. Coolies are hounding us here. Get the secret anti coolie weapon on the go. Pro cross. Feels a bit weird fishing blind without me so off. Come back to the old school of just feeling what the lure's doing. Plenty of boulders and structures, but... No fish as of yet. But thankfully the current seems to have slowed down a wee bit. So although it's a lush night, afternoon, it's been really hard work. Constantly paddling against that current and wind. Well, the little bit of wind that there is. Just a wee one, but it's uh, welcome after a long paddle in uh, deeper water. Tack the craw. I love it. Oop. There it goes. We're using a 40 gram jig, uh, cheb weight in 22 meters of water. So it's taking a wee while to sink, but the current slowed down a bit so we can fish. And they love just smashing the craw off the deck. Go on, there must be a decent one down there, surely. Why didn't I put the craw on earlier? <laughs> Still trying to get past and go. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a better one. Mm. No, it's not. Oh, it's off. 
I'm drifting too quick now for this crawl. 